I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out out of the field for the first drive of the game. Quick out to his receiver. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. He fights forward to about the 36. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. He's a reliable ball carrier, as he showed right there. He got the two yards they needed for a new set of downs. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. Big yardage there on the quarterback run. He dropped back to throw the ball and saw that no one was open. He just took off. From the 33-yard line, second down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Scrambling around. He dives and he'll be marked down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Two down, two down. Mike 41. On the ground, left side. Nice run and he's brought down. Bring him down around the seven yard line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the four. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. It's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Small is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Gators right now, Kirk, I think they've just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Just let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. He hauls it in deep downfield. He's tackled right around the 34. 
The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Gets it out quickly. Tackle made around the 15-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 14-yard line. At the 11 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. Florida is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to be sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. from their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Momentum from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. And he has it on the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. It's on the ground. He picks it up. Inside the 30, the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. He makes the PAT. Small, ready to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Aggies are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. 
That is a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. That's good for the game. Third down. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up. And yeah, it's a new set of down. And he's hit immediately. That's a two on the ball. Let's go. That makes it second and eight. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 10-3, Aggies. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And they hit him in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. Third down again. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. Ball, back deep to return. He takes it in at the 14. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Texas A&M is up by a touchdown. Brought down at the 28. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. We've got third and 12. Ball on 24. The crowd really making it difficult. Goes complete. He's hit right away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. The 39-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He's out of bounds at the 42. He lets it go. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. it to his wide receiver and he's got another one. Johnson makes the second down at the 19 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Throws it in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 14. 
First down there on a five-yard pass. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. He's taken down just outside the goal line. Throw in the end zone, touchdown. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he hits the PAT. A six play, 62 yard drive. And they put up seven points. You know, when you could throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Florida is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Got a man, watch out here. And they make the stop at about the 49. Call the game 10 yards. That brings up second and one. On the run. Makes it to the 41. With the run. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. From the 26-yard line, first down. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. This is the eighth play of the drive. Out of bounds at about the 21. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The Gators linebacker had come out of this game earlier with an injury. We don't know for certain, but it looks like he might be able to get back in this one. It's up and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida has gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. 
from their own 25-yard line. It's second down. And they push him out at the 33. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Texas A&M's going to take their first time out of the half. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Texas A&M holds a field goal lead. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. scrambled they'll bring him down around the 41 yard line well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback first and 10 ball on the 41 yard line now he's scrambling and he's going to come up with a sack Scrambling around. He's tackled at the 41. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 38 yard line. So we've played two quarters. Texas A&M leads it 13-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back? Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Second 
gives it to the back. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll make it a third and one. Makes it out to about the 43. They'll work the right side. He's got the corner. Gets to around the 42. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle at the 38. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 18. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. That makes it second and two. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. The defense snuffed out the option play pretty well there. Yeah, but they didn't do it quickly enough. The quarterback decided to keep this one himself, and the hole was just big enough that he was able to get the first down. Davis, it's a handoff to the right. Gets to about the five-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. So this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. And he adds the extra point. Florida lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gator staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. It's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the front leading the way. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. Number 56 makes the tackle at the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. And down he goes at the 39. That's good for being at 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. Got it, complete, and he's out of bounds. Being 15 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Check, check. Green Thunder. 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 Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Down. 
down at the 34-yard line. Wilson takes the tackle at the 34-yard line. First down. Check, check. Green and Eagle. Green and Eagle. Eagle. Watch the slant. Motion, motion. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 25-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Pitch out. Nice run to the left there. That's a gain of five on the that makes it first and ten. Down. Steps out around the 16 yard line. The cavalry's coming, and he's level at the 27. Sack makes this a fourth and very low. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 17-16, Florida. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Florida is up one. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Gets it, he's in space. And he is drilled at the 37. Big opening! And he carries the ball for a nice game. After a decent run up the gut. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-16, Gator. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a deal of 12 right there. That's a deal of 12 He gets to about the 31-yard line. Quick throw, and they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. Florida, up a point. Caught, open field, and he's tackled at the 24-yard line. Jones on the tackle at the 24-yard line. 
That makes it 33. Gets out to about the 21. That makes it fourth. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. McPherson is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Yeah, it's been kind of a nightmare for this offensive line. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to it. The contributions from this defense is one reason they've got the lead. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He's tackled in the open field. Caught with room to work. They'll bring him down right around the 40. That's a game of 13 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. his man and they take him down immediately. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. down now they need to get it out to midfield less than three minutes in the game nice catch first down and he's knocked out quick out to his receiver and he's hit immediately that makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 41. Mike 51, Mike 51. Ready! Green on the top! He's scrambling, and he hits him hard at the 46 yard line. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Somebody jumped early down there. Post offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Picked off. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. 
from their own 21-yard line. Second down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And he throws it away. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. Time's running out now as the offense comes back out. Got to have their sights on the end zone right now. There's not enough time to be sure that they can get the ball back. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. to that quickly. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. He scrambled. He's at midfield. He's tackled. That's the 46. That's good for a gain of 18 yards. First down. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle at the 38-yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. Just over a minute left. And he's taken down at the 34. That makes it first and ten. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Wow, you just gotta love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Two times, two times. So the Aggies using their third and final timeout. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. over and our final score in this one 2016 Florida thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time